How you doing? My name is Trinis Henderson. You're tuned into the famous Living Room Network. Devon Powers are always working for us because we're doing right. In this video, I'm about to reveal to you six signs, okay? Six of the best times when God speaks to you, okay? God is constantly trying to talk to people all throughout the day. It's just that a lot of people don't know the best time to like listen for God's voice, okay? Remember, God's voice is a still, small, subtle, almost silent voice, okay? You're not going to hear it. Like, it's not going to be super loud. It's not going to be like, here, I'm God. Do this, do that. No, it ain't, nah, it ain't like that. It's a particular time of the day. It's a particular time when you're doing something. It's when God sneaks in and tells you something that will open a door of opportunity, tells you something that will help you reach your goals, okay? So listen, if all six signs resonate with you, if at least one of these signs or these times resonate with you, just simply give the time that resonates with you a thumbs up, okay? I'm about to go through all six signs. Here we go. Now, the first sign, the first time when God likes to speak to you the most it's right when you wake up in the morning, okay? Now, God already done talked to you in your dreams, okay? How many of you have dreams where God is, like, showing you visions of things to come in the future? You know, things that you're about to, like, attract to your life. Yeah, God like to talk through dreams also, okay? But the best time when God is really talking is as soon as you wake up in the morning. As soon as you wake up in the morning, God asks you, what do you want me to do for you today? How do you want to feel today? How will today be? What do you want to experience today? As soon as you wake up in the morning, God activates and God begins to ask you questions about how do you want to go about today? Okay, this is the best time to hear from God. This is why it's so very important to program your mind in the morning. Basically, tell God in the morning what you want your day to be like. I do it all the time. As soon as I get up in the morning, I go look in the mirror and I say, I'm going to have a good day. Trainish, you're a great man. Trainish, you're going to have such a wonderful day, man. It's going to be 10 times better than it was yesterday, okay? I tell myself these things. I program my mind as soon as I wake up in the morning with God. God hears it, and then God goes before me in ways that I do not understand. God will go before you, and he will make your path straight. He will open up the path, the doors, the opportunity, put the right people, set the right people up at the right time to be able to meet with you so that you can carry out the task that you want today to be like. You understand what I'm saying? So as soon as you wake up in the morning, it's the best time when God is speaking to you, okay? Now, this is a crazy time right here, but I'm pretty sure some of you can relate. Speak up, let your voice be heard if that first one related to you. But anyway, the second best time when God speaks to you is when you're either riding in somebody's car or you're driving a car, okay? If you're in the backseat, you ride with your friends, that's the time your mind likes to wonder. That's the time you like to ponder. When you're in the passenger seat, you're looking at the window, watching all the trees go by, looking at the hills and the mountains. That's when your mind likes to think. That's when God likes to speak. When you're riding, when you're driving in the car on your way home from work, you're in traffic, the radio turned down. That's when God is talking to you, letting you know, you know you got to get this done. You know you got to complete that homework. You know you need to be working on your business. You know you need to go watch Trinus today and see what he has to say because I'm speaking through Trinus too from time to time, right? Okay, this is when God speaks the most. There's something about riding and driving in that car, man, okay? I know for me, that's when God likes to speak to me the most too a lot. It's like when I'm driving in the car, it's like my mind goes into like, like overdrive and I started to like think so many different thoughts that I won't be thinking like when I'm not driving and it's like all these different ideas come to my mind like these insights and all these different like new things that I'm thinking like oh man like I can do that I can do this I can do that and by the time I get out the car it's like I know exactly what to do now concerning my business or something you know what I'm saying and so it's something it's something really cool about God speaking to you while you're like driving or riding in your car okay now, the third best time when God likes to speak to you is when during meditation. When you meditate, when you close your eyes, when you clear your mind, when you stop thinking, you calm your body down, you shut your body down, and you're like just literally laying somewhere in a quiet place. 
This is when God likes to come in and speak to you and show you things that you could not see if you were not meditating. How many of you out there meditate regularly and God has spoken to you during meditation? Okay. If God has spoken to you during meditation, give this video a thumbs up. Okay. It's something about when you quiet your thoughts. It's something about when you close your eyes and you are still awake, you're still conscious, but it's something about when you shut off your mind, it's like you begin to hear what God has to say. You begin to hear the universal mind. You begin to go places that you can't go spiritually. Okay. And so during meditation is when God likes to speak to you the most. Okay. Now, the fourth best time when God likes to speak to you, and I know everybody can relate to this one. This is actually when people like to go to God the most, okay? But God likes to speak to you when you hit rock bottom, okay? When things are going wrong, things are going bad, you know, you're not feeling good. It seems like your world is tumbling down around you. <laughs> you might be low on finances. This is when God is trying to talk to you. There's something that God wants you to know, okay? There's something that God wants you to see because, see, God is powerful. He can flip your whole situation and snap of a finger just like that, okay? You can go from being, like, poor, you know, panhandling poor, like, to being a millionaire the next day. That's the power of God, okay? It, there's no limits as to what God can do for you in the next minute. So if you're going through a negative situation right now, if you you're hit if you hit rock bottom, you know, ain't nothing going your way. It seems like everything is like just turning upside down in your reality. Then this is when God is trying to talk to you. He's trying to get your attention to show you you need to do something. You need to change something. You need to remove yourself from something. There's something you might need to realize about yourself that you need to change. Something. OK, until you figure out this something, it's like you're going to kind of like stay in that little rut. OK, trust me. I know I've been in rock bottom plenty of times. And I, I'll, at the end of the day, I always figured out, you know, it was me at the end of the day who needed to change something in order to shift my reality to, to, to get me back into the proper uh, way of living. You know what I mean? And so God likes to speak to you in rough times. OK, but don't always be the type of person that just go to God or listen for God when times are rough. You know, if you're a conscious person, if you're awake, if you're aware, if your perception is if your perception is high and you're always conscious of God, even when you're happy, you're doing really good. OK, you're doing really good. You're keeping yourself from hitting rock bottom because you're always focused on God, even when times are going good. Okay. This is when God rewards you the most. When you're able to focus on God, when you're able to focus on being in divine alignment, when things are going good versus when things go bad, don't be like the average person and just focus and try to listen from God when things go bad. Okay. So with that being said, uh, so let's get to the fifth one, the fifth, the fifth best time when God likes to speak to you the most is when uh, you're maybe reading a magazine or you're probably listening to the radio or you're watching TV or you could be outside in nature. Like yesterday, um, there was this bird on the power line and like, it was just so weird because the bird just kept running up and down a power line and he just kept whistling at me. Like every time I go this way, he'll run down the power line with me. He'll be like, Whew. then I'll run back up there. He'll be like, what is wrong with this? I'm like, what do you want? I was talking to the bird. I was talking to the like animal, like, you know what I mean? Like, bird, what do you want, birdie? What what is what do I, what do you want? But I started to, it started to dawn on me like God is with you. You know, God is watching you, even through animals, even through nature, any type of material thing, uh, God can try to speak, God can speak to you, okay? God can speak to you through any tangible thing, okay? So if you're experiencing like weird happenings, you know, it's not ghosts, it's usually not ghosts. It's God. God used the universe to try to get your attention so that you can go inside and you can question, you know, what is there that you need to know? You know, OK, so don't be dismayed by, you know, things that are happening that are supernatural, you know, that are abnormal happenings. Folks, it's just it's just signs. It's just a time when God is trying to speak to you the most. OK, so always be open 
to, you know, God using the universe and the things around you to get you to understand something. I know me, when I'm going places, I like to read all the things that I see, you know, billboards, advertisements. I like to look, for, I, like, I like to look for God because I'm trying to find out, am I on the right path? You know what I'm saying? How I many of you look for God? Speak or let your voice be heard below. Leave a comment. Let me know if you be thinking like me. But um, yeah, everywhere I go, I be trying to make sure I'm on the right path. I be trying to look for the alignment. I'm making sure I'm in synchronicity. I got to make sure everything right. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel good without God. I need to see the universe do something magical in order for me to feel good. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I am. But anyway, the sixth best time when God speaks to you is when you are around other people. God loves to speak to you through other people. God loves to tell you what your future is going to be like. Your future is going to be, be right. Your future is going to be bright. God loves to speak to you and get you the message about where you're going to be in the next month through other people. God loves to use other people to give you your breakthrough. God loves to bless you through other people. Okay. When God speaks to you, the best time that God speaks to you is through other people. When you're out places, when you're going places, when you're out in public, when you're hanging out, listen close to what other people tell you. Half of the time, they probably are totally, completely unconscious and oblivious as to like what they are saying to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so pay close attention to the words that people are saying and the phrases that people are telling you, okay? God sends you messages to other people. That's why it's cool to be an extrovert. But if you're an introverted person, you got to get in the habit of getting around other people. You, you have to become social, okay? You have to become intrapersonal because if you're not around other people, it's going to be hard for God to like speak to you through other people and give you his opinion verbally through other people. Otherwise, you're just going to be uh, in places where you see weird things happening like freaking pillows falling off the sofa. You don't want that all the time. Trust me. But anyway, these are the best times when God likes to speak to you. Okay, these secrets have been revealed. If you have the best time or you know some times that are good when God speaks to you, speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think about this. Maybe you can help somebody else understand a way that God speaks, okay? With that being said, how many of you are tapped into your purpose? Do you know your purpose? Are you living your life purpose or are you doing something that's unfulfilling? It doesn't make you happy. Um, I know once upon a time I was living like that too and I was really upset with just my lifestyle and I wanted things to change and I did anything that I could possibly do, I did anything I could do to like change that and start doing what I'm doing now, which is more fulfilling. It's my purpose, okay? Uh, your purpose will always make you happy and your purpose will uh, help you become financially stable too, okay? Because it's something that you love to do and that you're passionate about. So if you don't know your purpose, if you don't know the er your area of expertise and you need me to help you with that, I am your life coach. I help people find their purposes every day, okay? So if you want to get my purpose course, get my purpose course. We'll find your purpose so you can stop doing the things that you don't like to do that's draining you. And you can step into a much more abundant lifestyle by doing something that you're passionate about, okay? And you'll be happy every single day. Okay, when you're doing your purpose, this is when God really likes to speak to you, okay? Because you're doing something that you love to do. And if you love yourself and you love the things that you love to do, then you love God, okay? So with that being said, folks, once again, these are the best times when God speaks to you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon. It's me. Oh, and hit that bell notification to be notified every time I upload new videos. If you're watching this video and you don't know whether or not you've hit that bell notification, make sure you go to my channel on the homepage Click that bell. Click that bell right after this video. Don't forget, you'll be updated and notified every time I upload new videos first, okay? In the meantime, check out one of these other videos right here. Both of them are good. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.